Hey, I'm Matt Byram. Today I'm going to run through the six things we do to promote every new blog article we release. This is a simple six step process that starts to generate traffic, shares and backlinks for each new article we create. The first thing we do is to post on all our social media channels. The most important of these being Facebook, Twitter and LinkedIn. But we'll also sometimes post on StumbleUpon, Reddit and others depending on the post. Our plan here really is to start the conversation with our audience and to help with this we'll also ask our internal team to share and like the posts as well. Another thing we do is to DM or mention other companies that we reference in the article. Um, often they'll share or retweet the post with their audience and this means that we'll get a wider reach for the post. We put a small budget behind most of our created content. And the reason that we do this is that like many businesses, our organic posting only gets us in front of a small fraction of our audience. But by creating ads, we can get our content in front of a much larger and targeted audience. And we found that a small budget is really all that it takes to generate shares and likes for each piece. And in turn, this will start to generate traffic and it might even generate you some backlinks as well. We write short intros for a number of different industry news sites and as we're in the marketing industry the sites that we do this for include inbound.org, growth hackers and a few LinkedIn groups as well. A quick google search or group search on social media channels will bring up some similar opportunities in your industry. And I personally find this is a great way to get our interesting content in front of a large and highly targeted audience. The thing is that most people who visit these groups are going there to read and learn and engage with the content they consume. So posting in these places, you're able to leverage a targeted niche audience. It's also a great way to start some conversations and to build some new relationships as well. We post articles to news sites like Flipboard and Zest.is. These are high traffic news sites that filter content by the topics that people are interested in reading. And this means that by posting content here, our content has a really good opportunity to get in front of a large targeted audience. Flipboard can be viewed on the web and it also has a mobile app for iOS and Android too. My tip here really is to check out their really simple Chrome extension called Flipit that lets you post your own content to their database with just a few clicks and Zest.is is also a nice Chrome extension, so I'd recommend that you check both out. Of course, you can't forget to send out an email to your blog subscribers. Sending out a simple email to people who've subscribed gets your content in front of an opt-in audience. So how's the best way to do this? Well, you could send out emails one by one for each article you create, or you could send out a weekly or a monthly roundup. The option you choose really depends on your preferences as well as what your audience wants and what they expect from you. There are a ton of industry news websites out there that aggregate and syndicate content from around the web. For example, for our WiseOwl brand, we syndicate our blog to business2community.com. And what this means is that when we post a new blog article, um, Business to Community also publishes it automatically on their site. This has the positives of generating us traffic through the links in the article and gets us a wider reach and also some brand awareness too. And I know what you might be thinking, isn't this duplicate content? Well, not really. Um, Business to Community has a statement at the end of each article saying that it was originally published on the WiseOwl blog with a link back to our site. And this indicates to the search engines that we are the original source of the content and that it's been republished with permission. To find opportunities like this in your own industry, you can search Google for phrases such as this article originally appeared on or contribute to this site. 
Just do a few searches along with your industry name, such as marketing or healthcare, and see what you can find. The result of these six simple actions is that we start to generate traction for each article we create. We generate likes, shares, backlinks and comments too. And this helps us generate traffic back to our site and gets the conversation started for each new piece of content. So let me know how you promote your content, what wins have you had and what could you add to this list as well. Please comment below, I'd really love to chat about this further. And as always, if you'd like to get in touch, please email me at matt at mattbyram.com.